In this question, we have two parts, A and B, and we need to describe the transformations that are happening from function 1 to function 2. And it's important to point out that in function 1 of both of these parts, we're using the parent function of all linear functions. So as you can see, I already have y equals x graphed right here in Desmos, and it's a line with a slope of 1 that's going through the origin of 0, 0. Now, I w if I wanted to shift this in a way, let's say, for example, shifting it up, all I have to do is write y equals x and then add any number. So if we want to shift it up twice, we could add 2. And there we go. We have a new line that's shifted up twice, and the new y-intercept is going to be 2. If we wanted to change the slope, we could change the coefficient of the x. And maybe if we want to make it steeper, change it to about 4. And as you can see, that black line, it's increasing quicker. And that's how you can manipulate a line. Now, if you really want to explore that concept, you could always graph y equals mx plus b. That's the slope-intercept form of a line. And then you could change the variables m and b with sliders and see how that affects the line and the graph. So as you can see, y equals mx plus b is represented by this red line right here. And if I change m, which is the slope, and I make it smaller and make it negative, that line is now decreasing, right? And the more negative I make it, the more that it decreases. Right? If I move it and make it positive, then it's increasing quicker as that number gets higher and higher. Okay, so I'm going to move it back to equal 1. And if I want to shift this line up or down, I'm going to change the variable for b, which represents our y-intercept. So if I want to shift it up, uh, I make that number higher. As you can see, our, our line shifts up. As we make that number lower, make it negative, it shifts down. Now back to part a, we have function 1, which is the parent function, and function 2, which is what changed. And from function 1, you could see that that... Um, that line, it's no longer going through the origin of 0, 0 here. In function 2, now it's going through um, the y value of 2, so that's going to be the new y-intercept. Back to function 1, you can see that the slope of function 1 would go up 1 and then over 1, so that slope is going to be 1 over 1. Well, if you look at the line in function 2, it's going up 2, and then, well, actually, it's going up 3 and then to the right one. So the slope of this one is going to be up 3 over 1. So not only did it shift up, it also um, is increasing quicker. So the slope is big. So the starting point for function 1 was just y equals x. And then uh, the line for function 2 is, well, y equals the slope changed to 3. So that's the coefficient in front of the x. And then the new y-intercept is plus 2. So this is going to be the new equation for function 2. And again, like I said, function 2 shifted up uh, 2, and then the slope increased to 3. Okay, in the second part, part b, we also have our parent function, f1 of x equals x. You could also write this as y equals x. So we want to figure out what happened from uh, f1 into uh, f2. So the first thing that I'm seeing is that the coefficient of x, which is negative 1 half, that's new. Um, so it went from being an invisible 1 in front of the x to a negative 1 over 2. Now let's go back to Desmos to check this one out. We said that the slope, or the number in front of x, is going to change to a negative 1 half. So I'm going to change this to negative 0.5. There we go. In our original graph was the um, parent function, which is this purple one going up like this. And then our new one, f2, the function 2, that's going to be the red one. So it looks like um, our slope is now decreasing instead of increasing. Okay, what else happened? Well, you can see that we have a negative 3 as well. So the, uh, we have the subtraction of 3. So let's go back to uh, Desmos. And uh, let's change the b value to be minus 3. And there we go. 
So now what happened to our graph? Well, it shifted down. So not only did our slope start to decrease instead of increase, now our entire line shifted down 3, and our new y-intercept is negative 3 right there. So back to my question here, and we could record our answer. Function 2 has a slope that's now decreasing, and the function also shifted down 3 units.